Today's topic is on uh, defining an internal fan inside a fluid volume. And we're going to do that uh, for, for an ANSYS fluent analysis. For this purpose, what, what I've built is uh, two concentric cylinders. The outer cylinder, which is the green one, represents our room. And the, the orange cylinder, which is, which is inside, re is representing the fan. So the first thing we want to do is work on the lo locate the fan. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to define a plane and now we're going to move this plane to where the fan lies. Next step is we're going to split the room and the fan bodies using this plane. So now we have fan and fan one, room and room one. Our fan boundary condition is going to be on a plane where fan one and fan meets. So if we were to do this, this one, so the surface is where our fan boundary condition is going to be. Our next step is going to be defining some boundary conditions. So we are going to tag all the outer surfaces as walls. Then we're, we're going to turn off all the components except the fan and, and we are going to mark the fan sur surface. So this is the interface which we're going to name fa as fan. Now that our naming is complete, what we want to do is we want to share the in share the topology between these four separate bodies. And this is how we do it. Right now, our work is complete uh, in ANSYS, uh, ANSYS space claim. Next step is let's go to the meshing step. We're going to do a water type geometry workflow in fluent measure. So let's launch fluent measure. Once the fluent measure window comes up, our geometry is automatically imported, which we can see here and we, we can start the meshing process. This process essentially works top down. It's a nice, nicely streamlined workflow. First thing is we're not going to define any local mesh sizing. So just using the defaults, we're just gonna generate the surface mesh, which should be pretty quick. And then we're going to say we only have fluid volumes and then we come to the update boundaries we're for now we're going to keep the fan boundary as a wall and we're gonna fix it in in, in the fluent stage so let's also add boundary layers at the walls and then the final step is generation of the volume mesh. And as you can see, this is fairly quick. We're almost done with our polyhedra cells. And this is what our mesh looks like. So what you can see is the four volumes and our fan. It's the interface between the green and the gold parts. So let's hit switch to solution button because our meshing is complete and this is going to take us to the classic fluent GUI. 
in, in the fluent GUI, uh, what we care about is the boundary conditions. So we're going to go to boundary conditions, expand under, under the wall. And what we see are a uh, list of some wall boundary conditions, but we do know that we need to make some corrections. For example, fan one, room one, wall. This is really not a wall, but it's actually an interface between the two fluid blocks, which, which should be an interior type boundary condition. So similarly, between fan and room, that should be interior. And between room and room one should also be interior type. As you noticed, uh, we still have our fan and a fan, fan shadow walls. So we do know that uh, we want to switch this to the type fan. So we'll, we click on it and it will automatically take care of the shadow side as well. And we can make the necessary changes here in the fan window and hit apply. So this concludes our presentation on how to add a fan, internal fan boundary condition into a fluent model.